Hello guys, welcome back to Cloud Damage. I am going to talk about something today that I am getting really pissed off about. I'm sorry, and I, and I know for some of y'all, y'all might have noticed it, but personally, as a <clears throat> excuse me, as someone from psychology who studied for four years, I've noticed this little trend here, and it is, and it's been going on for years, I bet, but it's really starting to piss me off, honestly. It really is, and and I and I. It's just my opinion. This is my opinion. But the biggest thing that's happening now is that, ooh, whoops. The biggest thing that's happening right now is that people are using all of these psychological manipulations or tactics to get your attention, to teach you this, that, or the other. And they're using it to, you know, get views and whatnot. And I get it. You can do whatever you want. It's called marketing. Good for you. The problem is that it's no longer organic. It just isn't. So the, the problem with psychology and learning about the ways a person works is that you eventually become more and more robotic with it because psychology has rules but also has ways of manipulating people. The more you use psychology in a sense of especially using it against others to benefit yourself, you become more robotic. You're no longer as organic and just doing your own thing. Then when all I'm sorry. And the reason why I'm getting on this, guys, is because I see a lot of YouTube, you know, looking at like, oh, how to improve this, that and the other. But everyone's using clickbait, all of these tactics that are like, hey, and it's and it's a no I'm not trying to be mean, but vidIQ does it where they'll they'll blur out a strategy so that you have to finish the video. So you have to finish the video to figure out what the next strategy is, which is just a manipulative tactic. And it is. Uh, people can say whatever it is. Marketing, whatever. No, it is a tactic of manipulation to get you to watch the video. Is it a negative thing? No. Because it gets because it doesn't really hurt nobody. Is it manipulation though? Yes. Manipulating or changing something in order to benefit yourself by changing something so that they don't benefit from it. Yes. That is how that works. Shut up, Ad. I am getting really sick and tired of people coming around and just, yes, the people themselves are organic, but the way they do things. And yes, like I said, you can call it marketing. You can call it just business tactics. All right, that doesn't mean it's good. Do you know how many things I've seen in marketing that I would be considered like, man, only if people knew. Great val great Walmart great value stuff is usually actually very similar to actual branded stuff. There are some differences, yes, but it's just like, guys. And the problem with YouTube is that they do it, and I get it. Strategy. Have a strategy. Do it. But I don't but then I don't want to hear someone come up to me and be like, you don't have a good strategy. You're not a good whatever, whatever. And I'm like, no, I'm organic. I am 100%. This is me. I don't use strategies to get views. I'm sorry, I don't. Because I don't want to ever be like someone who says, yeah, I use psychology against the people that are watching. I could do a lot of things. I could do a lot with psychology to get people to click. I could be a clickbaiter, essentially. I don't want to do that. I consider that scummy. I consider that very scummy behavior. And you know what? If you are a business and you have employees, do whatever you need to to get your money. But you can't come up to me and then say, we didn't use clickbait. Yes, you did. You can say whatever you want. What is it called? Jargon wise? Being like, no, 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 it's, it's a marketing tactic. I'm like, yeah, but it's still scummy. Yes, you did this, that, and the other to make a good thumbnail, to make a good video. But you also did this, that, and the other that is hiding information to force you to watch it later, which is manip manipulation or coercion, as they do call it legally. So, and I'm not saying, it's just me complaining. I get it. And you don't have to, I don't care. I am just saying that I am sick and tired of people coming out being like, oh, you have to do this, this, and this. To be able to be to be called a good thing when I'm like, yeah, but that means I'm no longer me. I'm not organic. I'm not me. I'm not being honest. Sorry, you're not. 
I don't want to use business strategy because one, I'm not a business, I am a gamer. So that is where I would come in and say, if you're a business, good for you, do whatever. You, you can call yourself a business and you might be a good person. I'm not getting on you, but I am going to get on your business strategies because those are, eh, I wouldn't call them unethical, but they aren't straightforward. We all know, I promise you, there's a lot of people out there and you see them all the time that say, click on this to get the top 10, whatever, whatever. And then you can't actually see them until you watch all the videos. And I get it. Suspense, whatever. My whole point is, if you do that, good for you. I'm not going to do it. And you know what? You can say, well, you're never going to get views. And I'm like, eh, I, I posted one video and I got 10,000 views because apparently it was someone else's whatever. But I'm like, but I got it from iFunny, whatever. I have a video right now from a Borderlands 2 episode 8. For some reason, for some reason, not a good thumbnail, not a good name, nothing, 220 views. And that's good for me. That's good for me. But I don't know why. It just keeps slowly growing. But, but, and you know what? It's a walkthrough of a goddamn episode of Borderlands 2, of, um, going through the, um, rescuing, um, Roland, going through the dam and getting, um, uh, God, what is it called? A Technic, um, car, technical car. That's all it was, but it still keeps getting views, but I didn't do any sort of business strategy to manipulate people and be like, oh, you have to watch this if you want to watch that. No, I just, I just said, here's the video. Here it is. Here is me being myself. And you know what? It might not be the most interesting thing ever, but you know what I can say? I don't have to scam you. I don't have to scam you into watching it. If you enjoy it, you enjoy it. If you don't, cool, watch something else. But I can at least say I didn't pull any, any sort of bullshit. I said, hey, I did this, this, and this, boom, that's it. And the thing is, people, the reason why I don't like it is because it's literally what giant corporations do to get people to, to consume their products. But I don't want that to do it with YouTubers. If a YouTuber starts doing it, and I get it, if you're making money, you got to. But then again, but then you can't come and tell me you're not a business or an individual. No, you're a business and I will treat you as such. I'm sorry. The reason why I used to love Markiplier and Jacksepticeye stuff and I don't much anymore is because back in the day, really young, 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 long time ago, like 10 years ago, I loved their stuff because it was just video, boom, I, I, they played through a game and they just made fun of it. They had fun, not, not a horrendous amount of editing. It was great. It was fun. But everyone slowly becomes a business. And I don't like that because businesses usually aren't ethical. I'm sorry, they aren't. And if you want to complain to me about that, I'm like, all right, please show me a business that is ethical in every aspect, every honest hundred percent. There isn't, there is no, it's like a politician. They're never honest. Sorry, they're not. And you can say this, that or the other. And I'm like, ah, I don't care. I have seen, I work for one. I, I can tell you right now. Mm -mm. But what is it? Since what people buy and why they buy it. And now this is psychology today. Like I said, as a psychology major, I've learned a lot in life. See, exactly. These include communication. How do pe how do different people respond to advertising and marketing? That's the biggest part. And it's just, and I know YouTubers use psychology to get behaviors, to figure out what people like. But that's the problem. You're not supposed to use psychology against people ever because psychology can be used completely negatively to a dangerous degree. I pr There's a reason why it's called gaslighting manipulation. There's a reason why you're only ever supposed to really go to a actual therapist because there are ethical guidelines. Psychology can hurt people and to use it willy nilly i consider it unethical do whatever you want but see political marketing is in many ways similar to product marketing it plays on emotions and people's desires for compelling stories kind of the same way with well the fads is the biggest one 
a lot of people don't understand that they're going to make you feel like you are out of the crowd. You are not important. If You're only important until you do this. No offense, but all the movements right now do that. Oh, you're not a feminist. You're not Pride March. Oh, well, you're not a good person. I don't that, I don't see how me being a part of some makes me a good person. Regardless, the idea is the same. Growing up, I was kind of bullied for not being a part of the crowd at all. I was a nerd. I was an outsider. I was the weird, weird kid. But everyone else in the crowd ended up doing drugs and having horrible like high school times. But I didn't. Well, I did for other physical reasons, but they all, you know, went downhill. And I'm just like, all right, cool. You all half of y'all are druggies now with rehab. Don't care. Some of them went to prison or some of them got like fined in jail, rehab, all that stuff. And I'm just like, cool, congrats. Oh, no, y'all committed crimes. And I ain't shut the fuck up. Part my language. I don't care about natural desires of recession. Yeah. See, the buying and spending part is similar to attraction to something that you want to either watch or do. It's very similar. Now, buying things is good because, well, many human behaviors are driven by reward. See, that is, that is the big part. Also, it's also a criminology thing where the reward has to, well, different subject, different subject. Does buying more things make you happy in the long run? Eh. Why do I buy things that are bad for me? How can I stop buying things that are bad for me? How does anxiety... F nah. See, this is the biggest part right here. So, two vast inter interrelate interrelated industries, advertising and marketing, are dedicated to introduce people to products and convincing them to make purchases. That part is the part that's... Some people Shut up. Sorry. <sighs> The brand or the person has to convince you you need this because they want money. I am sorry. I am letting you know right now. If someone is selling you something, it is because they want money. That is literally the point. They will produce a product for you. And they'll produce it well enough to make it to where like you believe it truly works. But they want money at the end. That is a business. They want money. And nope. Sex sales is a big one. That's that's a simple one, but... See, focus groups and all that, blah, 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 blah. See, no offense, but I did some for vidIQ. I got one of their stuff, and half of it's blocked by, like, the big pro boost, whatever. And I'm just like, oh, okay, so y'all are, y'all are just marketing people. Y'all are just business type, whatever. The problem with it is I'm like, if you're going to, the problem is if you're going to give me a product and only give me half for free and the other half is booth, then you're, then you are a mm, eh, questionable business. A lot of AI right now is like, oh, you get like 10 uses and then you have to buy in. It's like, oh, well, no, sorry, not doing that. And I get it. The world's going back into everything's being paid for. I get it. That's fine. I get it. But I'm not subscribing. Marketers regularly use psychology to convince consumers to buy. Some common strategies include classical conditioning. Exactly. <laughs> scarcity is the worst one. And not even scarcity. It's... That is... This is the biggest one. This is the biggest one I hate right here. So, employing the principle of social proof to imply that everyone is buying a product, so you should too. Scarcity as well as social proof. Everyone's doing it, so you should too. Well, should I? All right, should. And the biggest, the biggest argument I have against any of this is very simple. If a hundred people are walking off a cliff, should you join them? And you know that cliff is going to their death. And you can see it. You're just standing back and you're watching and you're like, should you join them? Should you join them? Should you join them for a little bit and then, you know, bail out at the very end? Eh. If you are smart enough to do that, or you know how it goes, go for it. But the biggest problem is a lot of people get into the, I'm going to go into the crowd. I'm going to follow these trends. And when everything dies and everyone starts getting, you know, <laughs> lawsuits. Eh, well, crap, too bad. 
or you wasted your money, you wasted your life not doing anything meaningful, trying to fetch the bag. And now you're now it's too late. You can't go back. We cannot go back in time. It is annoying to see psychological methods be used against people. I am sorry. There is no way in hell you can tell me this is ethically okay. Or at least good. Ethical, eh, questionable. Up and down, don't know. But to use it against people to get more views, I'm sorry. I just don't consider that good. I understand because that's what we call clickbait. And now clickbait to people is very different. They consider that like you get this one thing, but we're actually talking about something else. I still consider clickbait getting you like using the I understand the gray area. I can I will tell you that I understand the gray area that you can do it. It's considered marketing, but you but I still want YouTube to still just be, hey, just make a video, make it interesting and have people watch it. But to start using strategies and psychology against people, because that there's no way you're using it to benefit them. There is no way the psychology used for a thumbnail for a video and all that is used to benefit the people, unless it's entertainment. But the problem with that is, once you get monetized and the more views you get, the more money you get. So you can't tell me you're not doing it without the benefit of to yourself. I If I do it now, there's nothing, I don't benefit from it. I'm too small of a channel. I'm not monetized. So if I do it, well, all right, boo hoo. I don't, I don't get monetized. I have no benefit to myself. It would literally be only to the benefit of you. But no one does that. Once you get monetized, all the strategies come out. It's, and I'm not trying to be mean guys, but it's just reminding me that people on YouTube now are just businesses. I don't want to see businesses on YouTube. I want to see people. I want to see legitimate people who just sit down, play video games, and whatever. But they don't. But that's not, that's not how it works. And it's annoying. And I'm not going to go with human brain works. Often explain kind of shortcuts known as heuristics to convince consumers to make purchases. One of this is the anchoring bias or the brain's tendency to rely on heavily on the first piece of information it learns. A savvy marketer may say, for instance, that that a car costs 20000 then quickly offer to take 1000 off since the consumer anchored onto the initial 20 price tag. It seems substantial and the consumer may leap at the offer, but if the car was was truly worth 15 it would still be overpriced. See, that's why... That's the point. They anchor you into believing one thing immediately, but it might not be true at all. That is what YouTube... And I hate it because YouTube is a game of... YouTube became a game of watch time, money, business, views, all of that. It no longer became about entertaining people. And yes, people do entertain, but it isn't. But you do it as a business. You don't do it truly selflessly to just entertain people. That is what I hate about it. I grew up in an era where YouTube was literally there to make a video to make you laugh. And that was it. That's what that was it. God, what was his name? Jeff, um... God, I can't, I can't remember. He made Red Eye Flashes twice. He made, um... Jellyfish. He made, um... Boom, boom, psh, 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 psh. Boom, boom, psh, 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 psh. Jellyfish. That song. People like that. They actually made stuff to entertain or just to even walk you through stuff without requiring anything in return. But it's no longer like that and I hate it. I'm just, I'm getting annoyed with it because now it's just like everything I watch is just a goddamn business market. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to see businesses on YouTube. I want to see people who entertain, who are funny with, and I want them to do it ethically with, and if you make money without being a marketeer on it, that's fine. I don't care. But every other thing, every other person I watch is using every sort of goddamn strategy in the psychological book. And I'm just like, and that's just, that, that's abuse. It's abuse of people's cognitive functions. And I don't like that. Regardless, I hope you have fun with my little TED talk here. I'll see you all in the next one. All right, peace.